Thanks, Mitzi. Well, if you were wondering whether Beulah High School was under attack this morning, it was. A handful of acting terrorists performed a lockdown at the school's new gym as part of a mock disaster. But as News 3's John Papke reports, this wasn't your average drill. My son might be in there. I know that. Well, what am I going to do? What are you going to do for me? The concerned parents played the role to a T. Even the drill's top terrorist, U.S. Army Captain Paul Ryan, says his character was a challenge. It was kind of scary because I have children of my own, and so do everybody else in the element, and this is a very realistic scenario. With media watching from Eula's old gym, five mock terrorists invaded the school's new one. Dozens of students were held hostage. There's no, nothing of this magnitude that's happened in Alabama as far as the level of preparation uh, that we've done from the law enforcement area and the school level that we've dealt with before. But why was this drill any different? This SWAT team was trained with the same computer simulation program the military uses to prepare its special forces. This is the first time that we know of where computerized simulation has ever been used in a school safety situation. During the lockdown, the perpetrators barricaded the doors and put up blankets and newspapers so the SWAT teams would not be able to see what was going on inside. But now there's some software that would give law enforcement eyes inside for miles away. This software by Ortega gives law enforcement access to live video feeds from inside the school on the internet. And again, this is the first time it was used in a school disaster drill. You can unlock doors, lock doors, unlock the entire facility, turn lights on, turn lights off. For miles away. For miles away. Anywhere in the world, actually. Anywhere you've got internet connection. John Papke, News 3, Beulah, Alabama. Dr. Painter says the school system has already paid about $15,000 for some of that internet security video software.